To the average homeowner, this plant might seem like a weed, but in here, it is actually a, um, a special plant that's a secret to this garden. Uh, my name is Kayla Song. And my name is Genesis Buckhalton. And today, to learn more about the garden, we're gonna talk to the woman who runs it, Claire Baglin. Hi. Hey. Tell us, what is the name of this plant? And what is the name of this garden? This is called lamb's quarter that we're talking about. This is a, a weed that folks uh, see a lot in their gardens, but it's actually something that's edible and has uh, kind of equally or more nutritional value than spinach does. But we're here today in the Gandhi Mahal Interfaith Garden, which is a partnership between Minnesota Interfaith Power and Light, a nonprofit that works with faith communities on their climate change work. Gandhi Mahal Restaurant, about a half mile from here, Bangladeshi Indian Restaurant and then First Nations Kitchen, which is a ministry of All Saints Episcopal Indian Mission, uh, about four blocks from the garden where we're standing. Awesome, and could you tell us about what's grown here? I heard you talking a little bit before about the three sister system. Could you tell us more about that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we've got a few things, um, green beans, and we just were testing the garlic to see if that was ready today. Um, we're just about there, but the crops that we grow here go to First Nations Kitchen for the Sunday night meal that they do, which is an indigenous diet-based meal. And then at Gandhi Mahal, we grow stuff like eggplant, Thai chili, um, some onions that fulfill the Bangladeshi Indian style cuisine. The Three Sisters planting that you mentioned is a, a variety of planting where we use um, traditionally corn, but we're using sunflower instead, beans and squash. So it's kind of a companion planting that helps all of the plants grow to their full potential. And then a lot of those crops are sent over to First Nations Kitchen. And once all these vegetables are harvested, where do they go? Yeah, so the um, so some of the things like we were talking about, the beans and the squash go right over to First Nations. And then um, the eggplant, the Thai chili, the onion, those types of things go right over to the restaurant. And Ruhel actually purchases those foods at kind of like a wholesale cost to provide some income for next season's garden. And can anyone in the community just come here at any time of day and help garden? Because there's folks who live here, not any time of day, but we host volunteers on Thursdays. Um, sometimes we have groups from faith communities come out uh, that work with them and IPL to volunteer. We also just have individuals from the community. And then on Sunday nights, we do open garden night, the second and fourth Sunday of each month, where folks from the dinner, folks from community uh, can come over and just enjoy the garden space and continue those conversations they were having over dinner. And then, um, you know, get a tour of the garden, kind of take some stuff home with them. We've got plenty of herbs growing right now. Just a nice space for community to come together. Well, thank you, Claire. Yeah, absolutely. If you'd like to check out any of these vegetables, you can check out the Gandhi Mahal restaurant just a few blocks away.